What up, YouTube? I'm Joshua DeFarina. <sighs> you know what I'm going to tell you guys right now? I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, why Square with Patrick and Mr. Krabs should both be the SpongeBob characters to get married. <sighs> well, well, my favorite characters is going to have to be SpongeBob and Sandy. Only from Spongebob. My favorite Spongebob characters is going to have to be only Spongebob and Sandy now. Because. Because. Uh, I like Mr. Krabs, Squarewood, and Patrick though. Even though Squarewood, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs will both find themselves a wife and get married to and have kids. Mr. Krabs, Squarewood, and Patrick will still hang out with. Uh. SpongeBob and Sandy, and it, and when and when Square and Mr. Krabs and Patrick's children get to the age of six or seven years old, their kids would start kindergarten. So, so Mr. Krabs' children and Squarewood's children and Patrick's children will be going to uh, kindergarten at the age of uh, seven years old. So that's so that's how Squidward, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs will both hang out with SpongeBob and Sandy. So I say SpongeBob and Sandy are good pals and friends after all. So those two are going to stay single like me because it's without question, okay? Because I don't like people questioning me about this stuff, okay? So I want Spongebob and Sandy to both stay single like me, okay? Because, so Spongebob and Sandy are going to have to be my favorite Spongebob characters now. Because, because really, Square and Mr. Krabs and Patrick should both get married to a wife and have children, okay? Uh, I watched one Spongebob episode where Square married a female Krabby Patty. And had one child. And. I want you people knowing that. Okay. And. Uh, I watched one episode. Where Mr. Krabs was married. He married to a talking female money. In Spongebob episode. Married to money. Squared was only married in Spongebob episode. Just one bite. And I want you people understanding. Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye.